Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video guys. Uh, welcome back to another video. It is, you know, it is a very, very special and peculiar video, you guys. It is one of the most requested videos I've had on my, you know, many, many, you know, YouTubers who are just starting out. I'm, I'm starting out as well, you guys. I'm starting out as well. But, you know, I was able to figure out some of the techniques and stuff like that, you know, that is required for, uh, you know, um, uh, recording and streaming on youtube using obs so you guys so i'm a pure pure youtube streamer you guys i haven't touched twitches yet so twitch users do let me know in the comments whether i should make one for twitch as well and i definitely will do one you guys so for now guys we are going to focus on youtube you guys and uh, let's get straight into the video today i'm going to be uh talking about some of the settings in obs that you can improve to use for both recording and streaming so let's get straight into the video let's get straight into the video Alright guys, coming to OBS, OBS is like, it is a very, it is a free software, you guys, you can just download it from the internet, the, the guys who want to stream games are particularly eFootball, you know, on your mobiles and you want to record it and stream it live on YouTube. This OBS is the one of the most useful softwares that I've ever found out uh, that, uh, you know, you can download and most of the, most of the big, uh, big time YouTubers use this for their streaming, you guys, so do download OBS, I'm going to put the link in the description, you guys, once you download OBS, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take you you know through a few of the steps that you need to go through when you download obs on your system you guys so firstly when you download obs like see uh, you can just come here when you create a new uh, what am i saying when you first thing this everything is going to be blank you guys everything is going to be blank so what you're going to do so guys when you download obs newly when you download obs newly what you're going to do want to do is create a new scene okay once you create a new scene like for example i've created something here called youtube test you know i can't go to that and then uh, you know i can't go to that and show you how to individually create everything so i'm just going to make use of the one that i'm using in the recording now as you can see you know there's default underscore android that i'm using that is what i use to stream using my android mobile so guys and another advantage another key advantage of using obs is you can stream both ios and uh, you know iOS and uh, Android at the same time you guys so I will get into that we will get into that we'll get into that but for now once you've created you know once you've created a default scene you guys you are going to be able to add multiple sources you can add multiple multiple sources into the you know into the picture here so as you can see you can add you can add like when you click on uh, add the options you have multiple options to add you guys so you know you can add what am I saying you can add a webcam you can add your overlay you can uh, add some music as well you can uh, like I said you can add some video overlays and different things like that so a lot of different things you guys you can add images as well you can add, like I said the main things that you want to add are an overlay you know your webcam your mobile screen and of course you want to add last but not the least you know you want to add some music if you want you guys like of course you need your audio, audio input capture so you can just you can you can just add that in you can definitely you can use the default uh, you know uh, you can use the default uh, microphone off your desktop or, or your laptop you guys that doesn't matter but uh, let's go into the next part of the video you guys let's go into the next part of the video Alright guys, now we're going to talk about, the, you know, the different sources that you can add. I've already just given you a gist of the different sources you can add, such as a webcam, a little bit of music, uh, your mobile screen, of course, and of course, like any background or border image that you want, you guys. So for the background image, what you're going to do is, you know, you like, as you can see, there's like a background image here of the eFootball logo that I've put at the back. So how you can do that is, guys, all you got to do is add, add a new source. And when you click add a new source, you're going to click on image. Like you can see there's a box, a toolbox called image here. So once you click that, it is going to come to this page. It is going to take you to this page. So what you're going to do from here, what you're going to do from here is just browse through your folder so browse through like whichever image you want you can just browse it here and you can select that particular image and it's going to uh, come up here you guys so once the image comes up here you know you can adjust the size you can adjust like uh, where exactly you want it you can adjust the size you can put it left you can put it right everything you guys so all of that all of those things can be taken you can take care in the properties tab all right so once you do this you can double click this and you know it's going to come to the properties here and if you 
you want to if you want to transform or fit it to screen you if you just click the right click button on your keypad it's going to give you different options so you can transform it you can order it you can do different kind of things so as of now you know and once you set it you guys once it once you set up the image it is very important to click the lock button for any of the scenes for any of the scenes so once you click the lock button you can just lock your screen up and you know it's going to be it's going to be there so you know in case you make make in case you change anything you know the other settings the other sources that you've added here are going to be absolutely still you guys so you don't have to worry about that moving on you guys as you can see you know i've i've put in uh, this is a little music track you guys that i've put in so as you can see the music in the background is continuously playing on guys that is very very simple but guys one thing i will advise you to do is do not put any copyright related music tracks in you guys do not put any music that that is going to get get you a copyright ban on your uh, YouTube, you guys. Because I I did that once, and you know I didn't get banned luckily. But guys, do not take the risk. So what you want to do, guys, take like I will suggest songs from uh, you know songs from the NCS library, you guys. No copyright songs. So that is one of the best places that you can get your songs up your songs from, you guys. So do go ahead. I'm going to put a link to that as well in the description. So do check it out, you guys. And that is that is for your audio, you guys. Coming to the overlay, guys. For your overlays, I'm thinking I will make a separate video but guys some of the overlay yeah, overlay uh, uh, overlay places that you can use are places like Streamlabs I would say and maybe another uh, another app I would say stream elements all of that can be designed online easily you guys all you got to do is just link your YouTube account but for starters and for beginners you guys a video overlay is much more than enough a video overlay is much more than enough so as you can see you know if I remove this overlay, this is the video overlay that I'm using, you guys. You can design it custom however you want. And for designing this, you guys, you just need a simple video app. So as you can see, you go, you can just, you know, go again the same way. How you bring in your overlay is just go here, click on the properties, browse your image. As you can see, you guys, I've created a bigger image. I've created a huge image. So like if I were to unlock this and like move this around, as you can see, like it is huge. Yeah, guys, all I'm doing is I'm just placing it right exactly down here. All right. See, look. Look at this all i'm doing is i'm just placing it exactly how much of the overlay that i want to be seen and you know it looks absolutely brilliant you guys you do not have to design you know you don't have to go to any website to custom design your overlays all you got to do is just do it on simple any video editor just edit it the way that i have done here and then just adjust it enough so that it looks perfectly like a brilliant overlay you guys so uh, and of course you guys your webcam guys you can use an external webcam or you can use your laptop webcam so once you do that you know that is the easiest that is your overlay and your uh, you know this overlay your webcam your audio and music done all right let's go into the next part of the video all right you guys now i'm going to show you how you can bring in your mobile screen so as you can see guys all you need is your cable your mobile cable whether it's iphone or ios all you need is just your cable you guys all you need is your cable just to connect into you know uh, anything either if it's a u it's a usb to c or if it's a usb to iphone depending on your mobile whether it's ios or android so just make sure that your cable is connected to your phone and your laptop you guys once you're done with that all you have to do is you know just create a new scene called mobile screen or something like that okay as you can see like when you click on sources this is the one that you're going to click click on so mac screen capture okay when you click on screen capture that is going to give you that is going to lead you to properties so when you when you come to the screen what you're going to do is you're going to go uh, go ahead and click on display like for now i'm just keeping it a display capture because i'm going to have to show you you know the application so what i'm going to do what i'm going to have to do right now is i'm going to change this to uh window capture and that now what i'm going to do instead of obs so okay first of all let's go back to display capture i'm going to show you how exactly you can you know search for you can like for ios it's easy you guys you already have an inbuilt application that's going to project your mobile screen onto your system okay so all you have to do is go to search search for quick time player you guys so once you go to clip quick time player it's going to get you to this screen okay so once you come to this screen you're going to go on the quick time application hit on right click and then you're going to go into new option called new movie recording so once you hit on new movie recording, you can see that, you know, um, okay, yeah, look at that, there it go, it's popped up. So you can see that your screen, your phone screen has automatically, you know, your phone screen has automatically popped up in the background right here. This is exactly what I mean by the movie recording. Now all you have to do is go into your mobile, you know, the scene here, the mobile, uh, the mobile screen uh, capture 
and then just click on properties. Instead of display capture, what you want to do is go into window capture. And instead of win in window capture, you have the window option right here. What you want to do is go to the drop down and select, you know, select your uh, movie recording. So this is the QuickTime player application and you want to select movie recording. And now you see guys, now you see that, you know, the screen has changed at the back and you are able to check in your application. You guys, you are able to check in your application. So this is for iOS users. Let me show in the next part what Android users can do. All right, guys. So now for Android users, it's very, very simple, you guys. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to you guys need to head to Google and download an application or, a, you know, a, a, a thing called SCRCPY. OK, so the steps are very easy. You guys, I'm going to put a link of a video into the description. Just go on to Google type SCRCPY. All you have to do is download the zip file. Once you download it onto your system, all you have to do is, you know, all you have to do is run that file guys there are videos all over i'm not going to show you how to run that but guys go ahead the application again i'm going to say it is called scrcpy go ahead on google download the folder and run the exe file and once you've run that and installed all the setup and the extra you know there's going to be you might need to install a few extra things you guys but all of that has to be done on the terminal so once you have installed that you guys once you have you know done that uh once you have uh, checked that out, I think the command is very simple, you guys. All you have to do is, you know, come into your terminal and run install scrcpy. Just check out the steps on Google, you guys. It is very easy. I'm going to drop a link for the same. So now I'm going to show you how, you know, Android users can, you know, bring your screen into, uh, into, into OBS, into OBS. Okay. So like I said, all you need again, guys, your USB cable, just connect it to your laptop and your android phone should be connected guys one more thing is you have to make sure that usb debugging is off usb debugging has to be off in order for your phone to get connected you guys in order for your phone to get connected usb de debugging setting on your android phone has to be off so what where you can find that is go to your phone go to your settings type usb debugging and make sure it is off okay make sure it is off once usb debugging is off then your phone is going to get connected and you're going to be see able to see your screen so let me just you know scroll down here so once you've installed scrcpy in your system all you got to do is go to the search go to terminal once you hit on terminal you're going to see this screen right here so once you're on the screen all you have to do is type scrcpy hit enter and then all right just give it a few minutes and boom there you go you guys there you go as you can see you know my uh, you know mobile screen is right here so as you can see you know i'm just scrolling through the applications and once you do this you guys again if you want to bring the screen into obs all you have to do is you know go to your mobile screen click on the properties instead of display capture come to window capture once you do this you're going to want to come to you know scrcpy screen you can just you know like as you can see scrcpy is the only thing that is open here so click on that and as you can see you know your mobile screen is visible on the screen right now so all you have to hit okay and there you go you guys again you can just record it you can stream and easy thing is you guys that is you know it is the most most easy thing as you can see like this is how you bring your android screen into obs all right moving on to the next part of the video all right guys now i'm going to show you a few important settings that you need to do once you download obs and you know when you're about to stream or record you guys so the very simple settings you guys all you have to do is go click on the settings menu once you click on the settings menu first thing you're going to have to do uh like i all, all right guys i forgot to mention one thing so first thing whenever you download obs you know you're going to have to connect your account once you download obs you just connect your eFootball, you know your youtube account into obs so make sure that your account is connected here so as you can see you know my account is connected from youtube and once you log in here once you come to this you're going to want to ignore the stream settings all right all you have to do is hit on ignore settings and when you go into out, uh, like come to out but once you're done with this like ignore stream settings and set your account make sure it's connected and now guys coming to the output so what you're gonna have to do is for Mac users for Mac users guys just follow the settings you know this is the screenshot keep the screenshot in mind and guys be very very cautious of the bitrate so the bitrate 
the bitrate is completely dependent on your internet settings you guys the bitrate is completely dependent on your internet settings so do make sure that you you know you find out the bitrate you guys there are applications you know there's a site online that's going to help you check out the bitrate of your system and what bitrate that you should use and you should set up so do go to google and check it out you guys so for now i'm setting my bitrate to 6000 kbps as i have very good you know as i have very good uh very good connection as you can see you guys like this is for mac users so like you see this is for apple hd you know as you can see because i'm using a macbook so these are the settings that i'm using what you want to do is leave this as is make sure you take a control um, take a screenshot of this and use it in your uh, you know if you're using a macbook and recording i don't think you have to touch anything just leave it as is the rest as well do not touch anything you guys audio wise again i wouldn't encourage you to touch anything here so that is it about the audio video you can just make sure that these settings are as is you guys you can make sure the settings are as is you know 1920x180 1920x180 60 and everything else so this is one thing i would say you guys other than that hotkeys I, I wouldn't suggest you to touch anything else you guys so all you can do is just once you're done once you make any changes all you have to do, do is hit apply and then hit ok and then you're done and you're all set to stream on obs you guys all right so uh moving on to the next part of the video all right guys coming to the last part how you can start streaming or how you can start recording so as you can see i am recording this by just you know all you have to do if you want to record a video once you've turned on your mobile screen all you have to do is just click on this start recording button and you know you can start your gameplay you can record it you can do whatever you want you can record the videos you guys and that is going to be stored in your computer so you know when you record you know you can once you hit stop recording you can see uh you know a file part that appears in the bottom left of your screen right here it's going to show there you know which path that your file is being stored in so do make sure that you be very cautious and remember that file path and when you go to that file path you can find all your rec recordings whatever you've done in obs studio right there you guys so that is about recording okay recording now coming to streaming you guys so when you want to start streaming okay all you have to do is you know you can see the start streaming button right here just hit on start streaming all you have to do is manage your broadcast so guys for this either you can create a new broadcast which i'm not going to do now i've already created Created a test broadcast that I'm going to show you show you guys so let me do select existing what I'm going to do is take this one so I've just created this now just to show you as an example so I'm going to click on that and what we're going to do is we're going to select broadcast so once we select broadcast you know you know see the chat becomes active here so once you select broadcast all you have to do is hit start streaming before that you guys what i want you to do is you know this I'm going to drag my youtube right here just to show you up so this is this is my youtube you know the youtube uh, page that you can see right here i'm just going to bring it up a little bit more so what what you're going to do is you are going to scroll down you are going to come to content once you come to content you're going to hit on live you guys so once you hit on live you're going to see that this is the latest one as you can see test for youtube it's the same one that matches the one that i just selected you're going to go to view in live control room right here okay once you do that I, I want you guys so i'm just going to push this aside for now i want you to hit start recording okay i mean start streaming so once you hit start streaming what's going to happen is you know your youtube screen is going to appear exactly is like see as you can see like there is an excellent connection that popped up right here so once your stream starts you know it's going to take a while to appear on your screen you guys so it's going to take a while to appear on your screen once it appears on your screen right here so uh, let's wait for a bit let's give it a while let's give it a while Let's give it all right there we go guys finally finally as you can see you know my screen what i'm doing on obs and the screen that has come up on my youtube studio is visible guys the way you can open youtube is up to you you can use it on chrome if you're using a windows if you're using uh uh if you're using uh, obs i mean if you're using a mac you can just do it on your safari but as you can see you can see here that the setting is all open right now so once you see this screen visible right here you guys all you have to do all you have to do is just come here and hit on go live so once you've hit go live you guys you are going to go live and you can you know this people you know your subscribers will able to see get the notification that you're using obs and uh 
that you're going to use uh, that you are live on stream you guys so uh, yes guys that's about it about streaming and recording enjoy that uh, video tutorial of the obs and you know how you can stream your eFootball using your obs uh, studio so do make sure that you subscribe you guys if you want more tutorial videos like this you know it is not exactly a tutorial channel as such but guys many of you requested this video i see a lot of youtubers you know struggling to set up uh, using obs so do make sure you guys you share it with them and if you're one of them please tell me how this video has helped you and give me a few suggestions so that you know i can make another tutorial video soon and if you want more tutorials like this you guys do make sure that you guys do refer youtube and google you guys a lot of simple easy tutorials that you can check out you know to how to stream and how to record your uh videos on live on youtube you guys but anyways thank you for tuning in you guys thank you for visiting the channel do make sure that you subscribe and guys do become a channel member if you have been a subscriber for a while i'll catch you guys in another one very soon so sayonara goodbye toodles